What's up guys, back with another video today. Today we're going to be going over our trip to Iceland we did just the past month. And this was an amazing trip. I'm going to show y'all this whole travel experience and yeah guys, let's do it. Because of the amount of time we spent there and the amount of footage I gained, this will be a multiple part series, including at least one other video, if not more, of this trip. Of course, at first we have to get on our flight. Our flight would be an overnight flight taking just around 7 hours to get to Iceland, to Reykjavik. This will be a very long flight, probably the longest flight I've ever been on, but we do get to see Greenland um, during its sunset and sunrise overnight, and this was a beautiful experience. We had thought that we saw the an Aurora Borealis, but it looks and turns out that we didn't, which is unfortunate, but it was still really, really cool. So we just got to Iceland, and arriving in Iceland means that you don't actually arrive in Reykjavik, but a town just south called Keflavik, about an hour away. Um, so that's where we went into, and we would go to the airport there to travel to Reykjavik. When we got to Reykjavik, it was very cold, not a surprise, and also very windy. We had some breakfast, and we went to Palgrimskirka which is the big chapel that is very famous of the Reykjavik. We gotta go check it out as well. I absolutely recommend checking out Reykjavik um, if you are planning a trip to spend in Iceland. Um, the Reykjavik experience I'd say is very much a part of a trip to Iceland and I definitely recommend it. The downtown, the whole vibe, the whole atmosphere, the, the modern buildings and everything is such a cool experience. It is very European and I think it's definitely worth it. Um, but that was a lot of fun. Alright guys, so after we explored around Reykjavik a little bit, we checked into our hotel finally. We've been up since 5am since we got that early to Reykjavik, so we were exhausted. So we crashed, but immediately after that we went to the Blue Lagoon. It is a natural hot spring that is funneled by a volcano really close by, which sounds terrifying. However, the experience itself is really cool with the water being so blue and with all this black lava rock all around it. One cool thing about the Blue Lagoon is everything is super modern. You're in the middle of nowhere, but it feels like you're in this futuristic little, I don't know, modern pod. Maybe something you'd see out of the Incredibles. Cool. It was pretty cool. Wow. A couple of things that stood out to me about the Blue Lagoon, it was really big. It has a lot of different kind of hot springs slash saunas, a lot of different rooms you can go in, including the steam room. This was pretty crazy. Another thing to do is mud masks. That is a facial treatment, which I thought was pretty interesting. But one thing that they do as well is they also serve drinks and they serve them in the hot spring. So that's pretty cool. We woke up next morning and got some Murugamater, or breakfast in Icelandic. The next morning, we decided to head up to Kirkjufet, which is a big famous mountain, and it is one of the coolest mountains out there in Iceland. It's very beautiful, super touristy, but we got to do a little bit of photo shooting there, and yeah, it was awesome. On our way, we actually found and stopped in a little town called Borgarnes. Uh, which is a really cute little town, and it had a sweet church that we got to go take pictures of. Um, but the views were insane.
Kerki Fetz was insane, and the vibes were truly immaculate. Um, I loved visiting here, and it was without a doubt otherworldly. And it was definitely a raw feeling being there in person. We proceeded to drive through probably the longest tunnel I've ever been in without even knowing that it was. And interesting fact, I found out after the tunnel, we actually went under the ocean, which is quite insane. Um, but that was a really unique, I mean, I've never done that before, so it was a crazy experience. In tradition of my grandpa, who had Icelandic blood, who passed away just a few years back, we went to a restaurant called Skull. And Skull is basically a cheers to the dead or cheers to a lost loved one. My grandpa always wanted to go to Iceland, so it was really cool being able to make this experience for him. And we could definitely feel that he was there. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it through the first part of our Iceland trip. Tonight we are staying in downtown Reykjavik. However, tomorrow the scenery is going to change quite a bit as we drive five hours to Vatnirukuk National Park in Jokursarlon. So guys, this trip has only begun, and stay tuned because we have some amazing footage coming up.